shop. There's this place, the movie fan. And this is gonna be an interesting one. Or it's any of us gonna record this review at the hotel in Akureyri while I was on a vacation there. But then I decided against it because the space between the bed and the chair was so fucking narrow that I couldn't record there. So I decided to do the next best thing. Just wait until after I get back home so I can record the review there. And that plan worked very well. But I have pretty much the same things to say about the movie as I would have said if I had recorded this review at the fucking hotel room in Akureyri. So this movie I'm reviewing today is Snarting aka Touch. Listen guys, I am very disappointed. I went into this movie expecting something good. I mean, why the hell would it die? It's a fucking ass like movie and I'm proud of my nation. But this movie is extremely disappointing to me. Now, just this movie is an Icelandic movie, you would expect most of the dialogue to be in Icelandic. But nope, most of the dialogue is in English. It is good for me, because better at English than Icelandic. But man, I enjoyed so much for the movie, for the most part this movie is very disappointing. So what is it about? Well, this movie is basically about a guy who is an old man, and the transitions between when he's old and when he is young all the fucking time. Alright, let's start by talking about the old version of the character which Christopher played by Egil Olofsson. To be honest, when the movie focused on him as an old man, yeah that's the worst part about the movie. As a character, as an old man, he's just so fucking boring. I mean he travels to London, which is fine I guess. But I have no reason to care about him, he's that fucking boring. I have no reason to care about anything on what he's doing. Now I'm gonna talk about the young version of the character played by Paul M. Cormancor. You know, if it wasn't for the scenes focusing on him as a young man, I would have easily called this movie bad. But you know what? Seeing this guy in his youth is actually very fucking interesting. Yeah, it really is. He's apparently a school student who quit school so he can focus on working at a Japanese restaurant in London. And it's fucking great to see him and his conversations with the people at the restaurant. Yeah, I really do fucking like it a lot. Now his Japanese isn't very good, but his English is great, so he mostly interacts with people in English. And I found that aspect of the story to be very interesting. So the young version of the character saved this movie from being bad, but unfortunately it didn't save it from being good. What do I mean by that? Well, a lot of these scenes are interesting. They don't make him a remarkable character. In fact, he is pretty forgettable. But hey, at least there is something decent coming out of this movie. Oh, and another problem too, and this is regarding the older Christopher. Why the hell does his daughter even care that he isn't in Iceland anymore? I mean, the guy is a grown man. Personally, I think she should just let him be and let him be in other countries if he prefers that. Seriously, I found those conversations just fucking pointless and that did nothing of value to the movie. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. My biggest disappointment with this movie is that it's directed by fucking Barbara Scormonger, who has directed a lot of great movies over the years. He directed The Deep, which is a very great Icelandic movie. And he also directed GR City, my favorite Icelandic movie of all time. And the most recent example of a great movie he directed is Beast, a horror movie that's so great that I even made a spoiler movie review of it. So, what the hell happened to him here? I don't know, man. I am beyond disappointed because I know he can make so much better than this. But even the best directors do make their series of planters, so it's not that surprising. But hey, I have still a lot of respect for the guy, and he is the reason why I'm fucking proud of being a nice like person. So yeah, I'm giving the movie the rating. Decent, it's just okay, but it's disappointing because I wanted it to be so much better. Ah, well, thank you for watching. Have a great day.